Okay, thank you, everybody. Thank you, fellas. Thank you. Now, let me start by introducing myself. Uh, I'm Ozzy Villain. I'm the new GM here in Detroit. Now, I'm looking forward to working with each and every one of you and bringing success to the Tigers. Now, I think it's important that you guys understand how I operate. I like to have my dressing room split into four sections. Uh, I've got my prospects. I've got my key players. And I've got my overpaid has-beens. Uh, you'll be down the back there in Cabrera Corner. What's that? Oh, the fourth section, that's uh, that's for relief pitches. Uh, you'll be out back by the public toilets. Yeah, that's right. I don't respect you or what you do. Well, I'll tell you what. 90% of you are going to let me down. So until you prove otherwise, I suggest you bring some candles to burn. Hi guys, I'm Ozzy Villain, and welcome to the Detroit Tigers. I am very, very excited to get this going. Better late than never, of course. And, uh, well, we are going to try and win the World Series with this franchise. Now, if you are new to the channel, uh, first of all, welcome. Uh, make sure you subscribe and ring the little bell thing so you know when I upload new videos. This series is going to run Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Uh, I'm thinking probably at 5 o'clock, maybe at 9, like the old baseball series used to. I haven't quite decided exactly where it's going to fit in yet. Um, and and, uh, yeah, now there's not going to be any restrictions like I put on us at uh, the Yankees, basically, because we're not the Yankees, so it's, and, and I'm not good enough, I don't think, to be able to do that in any case. <laughs> I'm the restriction, basically. <laughs> and, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. And, uh, yeah, if you are also new, I don't like relief pitchers, uh, mainly because they let me down. I don't respect them as human beings or as athletes. They're pathetic. Uh, no one grows up wanting to be a bullpen relief pitcher. You're either not good enough to be a starter or you can't hit a ball. So you be a relief pitcher because that's what you want to do for your dignity. I don't know. You have no dignity if you're in the bullpen as far as I'm concerned. My bullpen always, always lets me down. Let's have a look and see what we've got to work with here. Uh, best place to start is possibly with meet the team. And let's have a look here. So not much, according to league rankings. We've got a good left fielder, a decent shortstop in Bayes. Now, we've had him somewhere before. I want to say the Rockies. And everybody else is, well, not great, to be honest. So we've got one four-star player, and that's about it. We've got Riley Green. He was a good prospect somewhere. I think I might have even signed him. We've signed him somewhere before, I think. But he is, he is very, very decent. And in fact might even be one for the major leagues this season. So that's something to bear in mind. We've got Torkelson, who I've already noticed is in our... I've had a quick look around the squad. I haven't done too much, though. But I have noticed that Torkelson is, is in the major league squad as things stand right now. But that's about it, even for potential. So it's not a great... It's not a great, uh, not a great team we have. Let's have a look here. We've got an assistant GM in Al Avia. Um, he's not interested in becoming a manager... We'll give him a chance to see how he goes. And if we have a look at who our manager is going to be. Now, if you're not familiar, I don't know enough about baseball to play as the manager in game. So I play as the GM and we hire and fire managers. Uh, so AJ Hinch is the current uh, man in the job. Now, he has played for, uh, managed the bin lids. Now, he, was he managing the bin lids when they were indeed the bin lids? I suspect yes. Yes or no? I can't remember what year that was now. But anyway... Um, he may be here in disgrace, but we'll see how he goes, see if he can redeem himself with us. Uh, so that is that. The rest of the staff will kind of meet as we go, I suppose. Uh, do we have a good scouting director? Because that could be important. We've got a decent scouting director. Probably a good would be fair to him, wouldn't it? A good scouting director. So hopefully he finds a few good ones for us. And that is about that. What's our physio like? Because I do like to injure my pitches. Okay, so we've got good back rehab. Um, arms is okay so this is possibly a good uh a good physio for us to have as well so that's uh that's nice team chemistry that's not bad is it there's a few bad relationships there we've got an unmotivated pitcher um he should oh I'll tell you what he's got the movement i've got more movement so he may not be around for seven million no seven thousand uh, seven thousand that's all right uh so yeah he probably just won't be around for long but otherwise the, the dressing room actually looks quite strong doesn't it we just need a spark plug if we can find one just check the engines boys <laughs> uh it's terrible uh all right let's have a look at the organization now we've already seen that uh we have one good prospect in riley green we've got another one there in cabrera now where's riley he must be injured is he we'll have a look at injured players momentarily uh, yeah, he is. He's out for four months. Is this guy any good? No. 
So, yeah, that's that's a shame, but uh, we'll try and get him involved. We've got this Daniel Cabrera as a left fielder who could be decent. Um, he's not really an infielder, so... Yeah. Anyway, so we've got we've got Cabrera there who might be useful for us. Do we have anything else by way of prospects? Not really there, is it? I always think you need to be at least three-star to be you know, major league quality. We have in the past, haven't we, had decent two-star players that have done a job for us, but if you're not three-star, you're not really. Now, we've got a 19-year-old here, but he's going to be a little ways... Oh, wow. Home run power. Uh, yeah, but he's going to be a little ways away yet, isn't he? So, yeah, there's not much, though, is there? It, there's not much at all. So we might need to look at at trading what's the age profile we've got here there's a lot of guys in their 20s yeah mid mid 20s and you know it's not even that old uh cabrera is 38 of course and i think he still has four years to go on a massive contract i don't whoever gave him that should be shot although he was quite good at the time i'm sure but uh yeah so that's that. Uh, the injured list will come back to the minor leagues. This, so this, if we go to potential, so we've got Riley Green, Cabrera. That's the third baseman, isn't it? And we've got another shortstop there. That is, is that international, something or others. But uh, yeah, I mean, again, he's a long way off being ready for the majors. So you know, maybe you know uh, when Bayez is done, because Bayez is. Uh, up around 30 so maybe by the time he's done we could have this santana kid just about ready to, to come in but other than that there's there's one or two we'll see how we go with uh with you know, bringing young players through and trying to get good staff in but that is problematic i would say uh let's have a look at our pitching staff now this is the guy we saw that has no movement i don't think he will be around for long uh matt manning i've heard of him so that's always a bonus uh he's, he's solid isn't he He's a solid starting pitcher, so that's good. Uh, Casey Miser, we've had him before. I think I signed him at the Yankees, didn't I, for the American Heroes? Uh, and he he looks uh, very solid as well. Eduardo Rodriguez. Hello, Eduardo Rodriguez. Like what I see there. Very, very nice indeed. So he will be our number one starter, almost certainly. And Tariq Scrubble. <laughs> if you haven't noticed already and you are new, I, I will butcher most names. Um, that's just a little bonus that comes with the channel. He looks solid as well, actually. He lacks a little bit of movement, but as a number four or five starter, I think he could probably do a job for us as well. Now, for the disgusting human beings, Barnes is okay. He's nothing special. Uh, we've got Miguel Diaz. He wouldn't. He's not terrible as a well, not as a starter, but he wouldn't be terrible as a closer, I suppose. Um, we'll see how he doesn't have. Yeah. Uh, we've got uh, Fado is rubbish. We've got Foley is... Hey, he's not bad, to be fair to him. We'll see how he goes for numbers. My main thing, this is what I don't like about relief pitches. Other than the fact, if you watch any of my other series, they blow games for me like you wouldn't believe. But they're just inconsistent. I think I've had one or two closers that have actually sort of season in, season out for maybe three or four years had an ERA that is roughly the same. They just seem to be so inconsistent. Now, Brian Garcia, we've had here. He used to be really good. I wonder if he's had a major injury because he doesn't look great there, does he? So he might be one for the trading block as well. We've got Ronnie Garcia. Again, looks decent. Actually, as a starter, that lets him down, doesn't it? But he's got some good pitches. He's probably better than that first guy, isn't he? So maybe Garcia, we look to move him into the starting rotation. Uh, we've got Jimenez here who lacks control but might be okay. Is he the closer? He might be okay as sort of as, a, as an end of game sort of guy. Alex Lang, rubbish. Uh, we've got Rosso, 25, so maybe a little bit to come from him, but again, just not great. The bullpen's actually bad even by standards that I have, which is extremely low. Uh, yeah, a bit rubbish. And Gregory Soto is okay. He's he's decent as a closer, but I always yeah, just two pitches. Decent movement with a sinker and slider is maybe he might actually be okay. So we'll see how he gets on. Uh, so that's that. Let's have a look at the hitting side of things. Tucker Barnhart, good defensive catcher, but 
solid enough bat. Perhaps we'll see what we get from him. Uh, the backup is not really anything. He can't bat or catch, so that's a bit of a problem. Miggy Cabrera, 32 million pounds, million dollars even, where we're playing baseball, and he has four years, yeah, four years left on that deal. Now, to be completely fair to him, he's not the worst bat, but, I mean, he hasn't been good since 2016, where he batted over 300. Okay, he had a decent year, 2018. 2019 was okay for someone on 32 million, but he's he's not done much since then, has he? So let's hope that uh, he comes in rejuvenated by the new general manager. Spencer Torkerson, now this is the young guy. He will probably, I think what we'll do is he'll probably play first base. We might just hide Cabrera as the designated hitter. Uh, we've got Harold Castro here, decent contact hitter. He can play pretty much anywhere. I love, excuse me, love to have one of these guys in the team. Um, they tend to play a lot for me, and yeah, he can play second or third base. He can play left field or right field. Probably wouldn't want him in center field, but I bet he'd be a good leadoff guy that would bat, yeah, up around 300. So we might see a little bit of him. We've got so that was Harold. We've got Willie Castro. Oh, Jesus, he's rubbish. Uh, so Willie Castro, I don't think, will be playing second base if that's where he is right now. Uh, he is. So, yeah, I'm going to make a change there. So Castro for Castro. Uh, we've got Shop, a Dutchman, second baseman, although he's actually better at first base. He's okay. He probably strikes out a fair bit, and he's 30. So maybe one we could look to trade, given that what's your actual third baseman like? He's okay. We've got a lot of first basemen. That are, I mean, the first base isn't a hard position to find a defensive player for, though, is it? But, yeah. I think maybe Schlup is one we could look to move on. Baez, good player. Good defensive shortstop. and can hit a home run. So let's hope he keeps uh, he keeps those numbers up for us. Uh, if we move into the outfield now, Meadows. Now, he was one of the... Well, probably the only good player that we had, according to the star ratings. And he does actually look... He's, he's going to be clean up, isn't he? Yeah, he looks quite decent. So let's hope we can build a team around him. Uh, Badu. Badu looks pretty good, actually. Um, he's probably going to have to be our center fielder because I haven't seen too much else. Well, we've only looked at one outfielder, haven't we? But he looks decent. He could be a good number three hitter, actually. What is the game done? Number two. See, I'm learning. I'm starting to learn what's a good player. Uh, Daz Cameron looks to be a good defensive outfielder, but he can't hit a beach ball. Uh, so that's a problem. No contact and strikes out a lot. Not great, is it? Uh, Robbie Grossman. Now, he's 32. Now, he looks decent. But again, I wonder... Now, if we've got Riley Green to come in. I wonder if he is someone that's tradable for us. And... We might get something decent for him. So that could work out. And Victor Reyes, again, good defensive outfielder. No power. But he does avoid strikeouts. So he could be useful. He's just an average hitter, but a good defensive outfielder. So that there's something to work with there, isn't there? But I do, well, we're not winning the World Series this season, are we? I think that's uh, that's for sure. Let's look at the front office. Uh, we've got a below average market size, poor fan loyalty, and low fan interest. Uh, we're in a rebuilding phase, so that helps a little bit, takes a bit of pressure off. Uh, we've got no money for extensions, no money for free agents. I mean, that's all Cabrera's fault, isn't it? Let's be honest. Yeah, so that's, that's not ideal. Uh, the owner, Christopher Illich. Are they still owned by uh, the pizza people? Or am I thinking of the Detroit Red Wings? I used to live in Windsor, Detroit. Windsor, Detroit. I used to live in Windsor, Ontario in Canada for like 12 years. So I, I used to go watch the Tigers play, I wouldn't say quite a bit, but certainly, uh, you know, I'd see it one or two games if there's a season. So I'm a Mets fan, but I've seen the Tigers play more than I've seen just about any other team outside of maybe the Sydney Blues back in the, uh, in the 90s. Uh, so that's the accounts. Don't really worry about that. Yeah, look at that. We've got two more years of Cabrera at thirty million, at thirty-two million. Then at least he goes to thirty. Does that mean tribunal, or does that mean we can get rid of him for that fourth year? Uh, otherwise, yeah. I mean, we, the outside of Cabrera and and Bayez, it's not too bad, is it? The 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 wages, but yeah, that could be a problem. Player development. 
uh we'll start working on that uh might do that off camera personnel uh we had a look at sort of most of the main guys let's have a look at the rest of them here the bench coach what we're gonna want I, well we're gonna need good coaching aren't we and he maybe isn't exactly what we need i think and let me know what you guys think i think what we might do handles development okay so this guy could be good for bringing through young pitchers it'd be a shame it's a shame actually we can't even look at maybe dropping him down to triple a as a bit of a finishing coach for us hitting no i see he's not i my thought is that we'll give we'll give everybody a season see what they can do see he's just it's, it's not good enough is it we need good coaches to bring the youngsters or to bring up through uh, yeah bring the youngsters through now this guy looks good i wonder if he's even a bench coach for us rather than a third base coach what's his in-game running is good we might be able to do a little bit better than that scouting director we've seen and team trainer we've seen already so yeah that is that i think we've got a couple of yeah a couple of roles further down the the system we have to fill so we'll look to do that at the time now if we set that to ai uh jones is only well why have we got jones teaching running if we've got other guys who can do it santiago's already got two things so let's do that yeah scouting we've got not much of a budget for that we're just in a little bit of a we're in a little bit of a risky place here not a risky place but a tough place because we don't have we don't have money to spend we're wasting ridiculous amounts of money on Cab not wasting on Cabrera. Let's wait and see how he does. But let's be honest, he's 38, and we've got to pay him that for three more years, four more years. So we are wasting <laughs> money on Cabrera. And I don't really know, yeah, how much we're going to be able to strengthen with no money to spend on. It's no money to spend on free agents. That's the thing. We're going to have to trade for players and try and bring the salaries down. But then you look at this and. I wonder if do we try and trade Bayers and get a cheaper option in a shortstop? I mean, again, he's 29, so he's going to be five years. He's, oh, it's not that bad. 34, I suppose, isn't too bad. But, yeah, it's a tricky one, isn't it? Let me know what you guys think we should be doing. Now, the other thing we had to look at was the injured players, wasn't it? Now, we did see that we had Green, who is good. He'll be back in four months. Uh, let's see who else we have here. Kyle Funkhauser. Oh, bring the funk. He looks decent. Okay, so he's a starting pitcher for us. Um, he's only four weeks away. Now, we're in March 9th, so we've got about a month of the season start. So I think I think Funkhauser probably comes into our starting rotation. Pinata. Yeah, he's okay. Maybe a bullpen pitcher. 33 on 5 million. See, this is the sort of thing. He's a free agent at the end of the season. This is where we might find a little bit of money we can get rid of. Uh, Turnbull looks decent. Uh, he's got Tommy uh, Tommy John surgery, so we'll wait and see how he comes back. Six months. Won't be relying on him for this season. Uh, Schaffen. Is that how you say that? Probably not. Relief pitcher. Okay, I'll, he's got a little bit of respect coming from me. He looks decent. Uh, and he's got a relatively, well, with one season apart, a relatively consistent ERA as well. So... Let's hope, again, uh, four weeks. So he should be back, ready for the start of the season. Uh, Cisnero, rubbish, 32. He's on almost 2 million a year. We'll try and trade him, I would imagine. Rogers, decent defensive catcher. So, okay, so he'll probably end up being our backup that was out for five months. So not for most of this season. Uh, Derek Hill, very good defensive uh, player, but again, can't hit a beach ball. So... Maybe we could get something for him trading. So there's not much there, is there? Let's have a look at this email that we've got. It's from the owner. Uh, don't suck completely. <laughs> Fair enough. I like that as a goal. Uh, acquire a power hitter and keep building the team up in order to reach the playoffs in the next six seasons. So the good news is that there's no instant pressure on us to do anything here. The you know the club seems to recognize the fact that we're rubbish and that as long as Cabrera is at the club, there's no real way for us to not be rubbish. So... That's a positive. Now, we will be back next episode. If you have enjoyed this, uh, make sure you hit thumbs up. Subscribe if you are new, as I said at the top. Do leave comments at the start of a new series. It's always really, really important to get that engagement. So likes uh, our, our engagements, comments as well. And what that does is it helps the YouTube algorithm show it to new, more new people. So, yeah, make sure you do that. There's a link to the Discord and my Twitter in the in the description below. Um, we, we will, I'm sure, be discussing what we do there in that. Um, and we will be back. I love the Discord, by the way. Please do 
to join if you're not already uh, a part of it. And we'll be back for opening day next time. We will be hosting the Chicago White Sox. And, well, yeah, any thoughts you have on who we should be going out to get, let me know. Um, I mean, it's a solid, it's a solid enough lineup if we look at that, well, sort of what the game has auto generated for us. But is it a lineup that's going to take us to the playoffs? I mean, that is highly debatable. We do have, do we have a, well, we, I'd say we have one of the softer line uh, divisions, but I don't think we do because the White Sox are usually decent. The Guardians, I'm not sure what they're supposed to be like this year, but uh, it's going to be, it's going to be interesting. I'm looking forward to this. It's a different challenge to what we had at the Yankees where we were only American players. Uh, the challenge we have here is this guy. Can we win with $32 million going down the drain every season? Take care.